we will start defining what is artificial intelligence. So artificial intelligence in general is a branch of computer science dealing with the simulation of intelligent behavior. Artificial intelligence has changed the way we live and the way we think about the devices around us from the daily tasks like shopping to industrial processes like car manufacturing. So uh, you will see a lot of artificial intelligence now and in the near future and that will power our society a lot. Here was the dream. This monster, Frankenstein, was the dream. So Dr. Frankenstein attempted to create life, but uh, he didn't succeed. Today, little Frankenstein monsters are appearing everywhere in the form of AI. So are these helpful and good? or evil and destructive? So I will ask you this question after we finish. <laughs> so we'll see after this, we'll take your opinion. As I said, this was the dream, this monster, but the reality is here. This is a real robot that is using a lot of AI. This robot is called Sophia that was launched in 2016 by Hansen Robotics. This robot can do a lot. And this robot can serve in nursing homes and can serve big or large crowd of people and large events as well. So I cannot wait to share with you how this robot can speak, understand, and do a lot of intelligent things. So let's get started with this one. Please welcome all the way from Hong Kong, Hanson Robotics, Sophia, the robot So this is a real robot. It has a lot of artificial intelligence. Uh, hello, Sophia. Hello, Jimmy. Wow. Uh, it's long time to see you. We're on the show. It has been exactly 575 days since I last saw you. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is Sophia robot that has a lot of AI. So she can recognize the images, recognize the voice, videos, can interpret the language, a lot of natural language <coughs> processing and it's very complicated. So Sophia, by the way, can display about 50 facial expressions in different situations. Uh, this is the robot and this is the reality here. Moving on to, to the history of artificial intelligence and I will shade the light on some of the big events. First, in 1950, the scientist Alan Turing described in his research paper what's known as Turing test. So Turing test is a test that will help and will check whether the computer can think like human or not. The setup for this test is, as you can see here, we have three terminals. Two are operated by human and one is operated by a computer. The tester, one of the human, is asking a couple of questions without knowing who is answering. After a limited time, about five minutes, if the questioner cannot tell which answer came from the computer and which one came from the human, then this computer is thinking and it's smart and has artificial intelligence in it. So this is the Turing test. Remember this one, I will ask you about this one at the end of my presentation. <laughs> Moving on to 1956, where the conference, Dartmouth conference, gave the birth to artificial intelligence. And that was the first time 
this term been used as AI or artificial intelligence. We went through some summers and winters, AI summers and AI winters, and jumping all the way to 1997, where a big event happened where the computer Deep Blue from IBM beat the world chess champion Gary Kasparov. So this is the actual game between the computer, IBM computer and Kasparov. The first round of this game, Kasparov won the game. The second round, it was a shocking moment for everyone and for Kasparov when the computer learned the lesson and won the game. So it was big achievement for the computer and for IBM that time. The computer learned from the first round, learned the steps, learned how Kasparov was thinking. And this is the learning and learning machine that we will be talking about in a few minutes. In 2011, Siri was integrated with iPhone 4S and Siri is a virtual uh, assistant that has a lot of artificial intelligence from natural language processing to interpreting, translating, and much more. In 2014, Alexa was established by Amazon and uh, this is another virtual assistant. Let me give you a bonus for you if you are a fan of Alexa. So there is a new skill, it's not new, but uh, nowadays it's a good one to have. You can download it in your Alexa skills, which is Dr. AI. Dr. AI that can ask you a couple of questions about some symptoms that you are suffering from and will give you some results, okay? <laughs> so a lot of intelligence are there in Alexa. 2017, another big event happened when an algorithm named Alpha from Google Mind won the world champion in the game, the ancient game named Go, a board of Go. It's much complicated than chess. It's a huge one. And this algorithm won and really was uh, a big achievement for this algorithm that can do a lot and surprise everyone around. So this is a brief introduction to the history of artificial intelligence. 